Football brings you the divisional round of the NFL playoffs and is brought to you by EA Sports. It's the Ravens and the Bengals coming up next. EA Sports coverage of the NFL playoffs brings us to a very loud and a very sold-out Paycor Stadium here in Cincinnati. Straight ahead, we punch the second of two tickets to the AFC title game, and we've got a great one in store between the Baltimore Ravens and the Cincinnati Bengals. Hello, everyone. As the postseason continues here on EA Sports, we're pleased to bring it to you. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gauden. And who has the edge here? You got one side that had some extra rest, but another comes in off a win last week in the wild card round. And it's funny, depending on which team you are, you say that that's an advantage. You'll take the rest. You'll take the week off. Get your guys healed up a little bit and ready to go. But that team that's coming in off of a win last week, they're really excited to keep playing. They feel like they are hot and ready to go. For a berth in the AFC Championship game, off we go in the divisional round of the NFL playoffs. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. Here are the Bengals on offense, and here is Joe Burrow ready to lead them at quarterback. And he and his team, they were the beneficiaries of a first-round bye earned by a tremendous regular season. He'd been a little bit nicked up so he could use the rest, and I'm sure his teammates felt the exact same way. But now it'll be interesting to watch their first few drives in this one because sometimes getting the rest is great, but sometimes you accumulate a little bit of rust as well. Maybe they come out flat, and they can't afford that in the postseason. Here's Joe Mixon as they start on the ground. And he'll get this up just shy of the 30. Second and six, just inside the 30. Play action. It's Burrow. Man open. That's Jamar Chase complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before they reach the 50. And they go play action now. Burrow. And he'll go right back to Chase. That's caught again. And the tackle going to be made at the 38. Burrow going to fake to mix it and now look to throw. And they're going to get this down to about the 37. Off the play fake, here's Burrow. And he'll find Chase on the right side, complete. And he's going to be taken down at the 28-yard line. They go play action with Burrow. And this one almost intercepted. Not a good throw there, nearly an opening drive, INT. They go back to the ground now with Mixon. They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. Burrow will throw. Forced out to his left, and he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. We've got a pause following the play because it appears a member of the Bengals in some discomfort. While they come out and take a look at him, we will step aside for just a moment. And I don't think this has the carry. It does not. It's no good. These playoff games have a tendency to be tight. You have to wonder if that missed field goal could haunt them later. Yeah, we're always looking for the key plays, right? The ones that we're going to magnify. Usually those happen in the second half or later in the game. This might be the key play of the game showing up here in the first half. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. That was a pretty good job defensively to hold them to a two-yard run, but I've got to think this offensive line, they're asking their quarterback for a different type of a run, one that they rely on, one they have confidence in, one they feel like they can block. Now a timeout called for by the defense. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. On third down, Jackson. 
Flush to his right. And he'll be brought down on the other side of midfield at the 43. Now a timeout called for by the defense. So as they take it over, we step aside. Jackson running again. And he is going to wind up losing yardage here as that will take us to the end of the first quarter of play. We're scoreless after one. Raven football here as we begin quarter number two. So the first down run lost a couple. Now they come up second and 12. Being chased out left. And that'll fall incomplete. He was hit just as he let that go. And now it's third down. Now it's Jackson. He's got his man. It's Andrews. And they're going to get this to about the 44-yard line. Excellent job there defensively. Gave up the underneath to the tight end on third down, and they made sure that they did their job. Got him on the ground and prevented him picking up a first down. And now we've got whistles. I think we had a defender too eager to go for the block. Mark off the five yards, but still fourth down. Well, they'll learn that lesson when they review it, but it didn't cost them. So now they're going to send out the field goal unit to, as they say, fire away from long distance. And this one is no good. He missed it. But there is a flag down. He might get another shot at this. Okay, so the personal foul penalty. And those are some important yards lost right there. Yeah, it all comes down to discipline, doesn't it? And every team tells us that they coach it, they preach it. In this case, it slipped a little bit. Jackson with a handoff to Dobbins on the option. And he wind up picking up about four as that is going to bring us to the two-minute warning. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. From the gun, it's Jackson. This one caught by his tight end, Andrews. And he's going to be brought down at about the 16. Play number nine set to come here in the drive on third and two. Now, here's a run for the end zone, but that one's going to wind up in the game. Well, that was certainly an aggressive call and an aggressive play. Instead of just going for the first down, took the shot in the end zone, went for the touchdown. And on third down, they said, forget about the sticks. We want six. So Jackson will head to the Ravens' sideline, and on comes Justin Tucker for the field goal try. This a 33-yard attempt. Tucker's kick is good. And we have action on the scoreboard just before halftime. It's 3-0. So in the end, they had the ball for 10 plays, but the drive gets them three, not six. Is it okay if I give credit to both sides on this one? Absolutely. All right, let's start defensively. They hung in there. 10-play drive, but they stiffened when they got close to the goal line, made them kick a field goal for the offense. 10-play drive. They might be a little disappointed they got a field goal, but they moved the ball down the field with dispatch and came away with the points. Cincinnati coming back onto the field here for their second drive. And the way their last drive ended, boy, it was frustrating. They had a pretty good drive going. It was sustained, and then it stalled out, Charles, and they missed the field goal and got nothing out of it. Is that insult to injury? Because they had such a sustained drive, as you noted. So you know for the head coach, it almost felt like a little bit of failure to send out the field goal unit and then didn't even see the ball go through the post. What a bummer on that last drive for them. Got to pick themselves up from that one. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. Tough series for the passing game. Things just aren't clicking. Hoping they can come through on this play and get this series back on track with a completion for enough yardage for a first down. And it's incomplete, broken up. But there is a flag down. Let's see what that's about. So they decline it as that will bring up four. And I know that yardage and field position are keys to any game played, but you've got to consider downs when you're talking about penalties. And they wisely did not take that one and made it fourth down. So they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away. 
And a great job here. This is going to turn out to be a beauty. This is marked down at about the three-yard line. That punt was near perfection as it checked up inside the five-yard line. You never know where these things are going to go, do you? No. What was it? You got a John Heisman quote about that, yeah, right? Yeah, he said the football is roughly a pro spheroid, which means it's going to bounce funny, and you never know where it's going to end up. Now the Ravens going to use one of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. On second down, it's Edwards. And he'll take this up to about the seven or eight yard line. Now another timeout called for by the offense as they get the stoppage with just under 50 seconds remaining in half number one. Now Jackson. And that's going to be caught. It's James Prochet finding space at the 40. Down the sideline he goes. Inside the 20. And in for the Ravens touchdown. James Prochet, 92 yards. And the Ravens will extend their lead in the final minute of the half. Now they talked about stringing together some explosive plays here in the playoffs. That was a pretty explosive play. It certainly was. And if you're going to win on the road, it certainly helps to have big playability in your hip pocket, doesn't it? Tucker with the extra point, and the lead grows to 10 0. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. This will be fielded inside the five. He's at the 40, 20, 10, and all the way in for a Cincinnati score. Call that a 96-yard house call on the kick return. And the Bengals are on the board here in the final minute of the first half. The way this one was going, you just got the sense they needed something before half. They've at least got something on the board now. Still trailing, but a good sign. That takes me back to our preseason tour of NFL camps. You remember we, we talked with that one coach who said his emphasis this year was scoring in the last two minutes of a half, heading into the locker room. This hits it right there. Take that momentum, take that good feeling, and take the locker room, regroup, and start over. They got it here. They did indeed. A lot of football will have to be played. The Ravens going to get one more drive here in this first half. And leading 10-7, they may just want to get this to the locker room. Throwing on first down, it's Jackson. That's for Bateman, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Mike Hilton. And he will bring it back. It's a pick six for the Bengals team. mysteries, but I do know this. When they went out on offense, I will guarantee they told them, don't just make anticipatory throws. Make sure you see it before you throw it. Didn't happen here. Trying to protect that lead, and now they gave it up. McPherson on for the point after. And that makes it 14-10. A heck of a play there defensively, getting the interception, navigating his way into the zone for the touchdown. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kicks away. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. The Ravens going to get one more drive here in this first half. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. So a look around the NFL. We'll have to wait for postgame because we are moving right through halftime and on to the third quarter. And we rock it. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Glenn, getting set for quarter number three here. Winner go home, that's the name of the game, and we're back underway with the second half of this AFC Divisional round. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. Jackson and the Ravens come up now first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. They'll try and start this drive in the air. Oh, this one incomplete. The pressure got to him as he released it. And second down. 
Second and ten here as we sit in the third quarter of this divisional round matchup. Dobbins going to take the handoff on the option. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. A nickel look now for the Bengals as they try to stop him here on third down. Here's Jackson to throw. And that will be incomplete. What's the second half now? This is an offense that continues to struggle with this in the half. Looks like they're just totally out of sync, whether they're running the ball, passing the ball like we saw there. I don't know. The rhythm seems off. The Ravens send their punter out now as he's on to punt for the first time this afternoon. 35 yards that time on the punt. And the Bengals take over first and 10. The drive will commence with a run by Mixon. And he's able to break out of one tackle, but then quickly brought down. Looking to speed things up here, going with some tempo. And that would incomplete, but now a penalty flag coming in late. That might be a They've done a good job on these receivers, pretty much held them in check. They're a little too close for comfort. And you're always looking for a play to get you going, right? You're looking for someone to make one. But maybe this penalty, this pass interference call, that can help shake them loose. Pass the 20! And they're going to get this down to about the 17-yard line here. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. Third quarter of a tight football game as we come up on a second and 10. Burrow going to give this to Mixon. And he's brought down just outside of the 10 at the 11. Burrow looking to pass to Mixon on the check down. And he's brought down short. Two yards there, needed four. Now a timeout called for by the offense. And that's going to leave him with just one timeout remaining still in the third quarter. We'll see if that comes back to haunt him. We'll be back. McPherson's kick is good. And that moves him up by a touchdown now at 17-10. So he missed that field goal earlier, but he says not this time. Able to knock it through, give his guys three. I like his poise. I like his confidence, his belief in himself. Sometimes when you miss that first one, you see a lot of guys sag, and they can't make the next one. Not in this case. Stepped right up like a pro. And this will be a touchback as Ed sails over the end line. Here comes the Raven offense now, ready for another possession. They find themselves down 17-10 as they come up on a first and 10. They'll start on the ground with Dobbins. Defensively, Sam Hubbard, the former punt guy there to stop him. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. Another run here with Dobbins. Dancing away at the 35. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. It's a pickup of 11 and a Baltimore first down. Jackson. They set up the screen for Dobbins. They'll get four there out of the screen and it's second down. One quarter remains for the right to advance to the AFC. Back now in Cincinnati. It's the Ravens with possession of the football but trailing on the big board as we get set for the fourth. From the 44, Jackson. Escaping the play, and he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. Finally hauled down for the first time this game. Multiple defenders in there to drop it. Here's Jackson on third and long. Dancing to his left. And that is incomplete. To throw a football. Very little chance that that one was going to be completed. Every receiver was locked up. Here we go. It's Jackson on fourth down. And this is incomplete. Oh, he looked like he had a pretty good line on that. That would have been a big play, but he could not pull it in. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. 
Mixon with a first down carry. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. Now the Bengals going to signal for their third and final timeout. That will be their third and final stoppage as they'll only have the two-minute warning now remaining. Throwing on second and eight. Burrow. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. As a coaching staff, you can call just about whatever you want because you understand you have guys who reliably take away those massive shots downfield. You're not as worried about giving up the big one. So here we go. Maybe the biggest kick of the game forthcoming. This to perhaps salt this one away. McPherson's kick is good. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. Back now on EA Sports as the kick teams are out here following the two-minute warning. So after the made field goal, here's McPherson to send this one away. Fielded just outside the goal line. And he had no room to run as he's tackled down inside the 20. Jackson and the Ravens, here they come. Down 20 to 10, a minute 56 to go. It's been a struggle to score all day, and now they need to do it twice here late to have a chance. Eluding the pressure right. And he'll take this across the 25 before going out of bounds. Jackson. And his throw is incomplete. That's pretty difficult to sum up offense in a two-minute drill. When your guys are struggling to put points on the board all afternoon, there's an incompletion right there. Jackson to throw. Flushed out right. And time finally runs out. He can't get rid of the football, and he's taken down. Now the Bengals going to signal for their third and final timeout as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Jackson. And he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. When you're leading in the final quarter, your radar has to be up for any potential deep shots. But probably not the last one we're going to see in this game, not as long as they hold this lead. Here's Jackson. And it's going to be batted down. It will go the other way with the football. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And as a result, their playoff run may end right here. So with that, we can just about close the book on this one, Charles. Yeah, what's the old expression about slim and none? Well, slim just left town on that <laughs> They're one. They're down to none? Yes, exactly right. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. Now the Ravens going to use one of their timeouts. And they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. Now it's Burrow. Pass complete, Joe Mixon out of the backfield. And he'll be brought down this time at the five-yard line. Now a second timeout called for by the defense as they get the stoppage with just over a minute to go in the game. Burrow. Open man is Higgins, and he's got it. Touchdown, Cincinnati. A five-yard touchdown catch. And the Bengals are drawing closer to a date in the AFC title game as they extend this fourth quarter lead. And to me, that touchdown allows you to start grinning widely on your sideline. I think they pretty much locked this one away. Yeah, that's the clincher, the proverbial icing on the cake, if you will. Extra point by McPherson, up and good. And that'll make this a three-score game now. The lead moves to 17. the touchdown McPherson on to kick this one away taking it about the one and he's only going to make it to the 13 yard line and no further Ravens offense getting set and ready for this next drive and they knew this would be tough on the road divisional round and that has certainly been the case with the deficit they face in this fourth quarter 
flush to his right. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. He still brings it in off the tip here on the deep shot. And he's going to be marked down just inside the 35. They're going to need to get up and set in a hurry. Escaping the pressure right. And he'll be out of bounds as he gets it down to the 30 there. To throw again on second down. Jackson. That'll be caught by the big tight end, Andrews. Down inside the 10. And whistles, and they take their final timeout with seven seconds left. So three plays already first and goal, and they are wasting little time. To throw is Jackson. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. And defensively, you look at the numbers. Another incomplete pass that we just saw. And they're under 200 yards passing for the game, so they've done their job on that side of the ball. Yeah, recently. Got a man, it's caught for a Ravens touchdown. Demarcus Robinson, a two-yard touchdown grab. And the Ravens have got it back to a two-score game here in the fourth. Tucker able to connect on the extra point, and the lead is trimmed down to 10. So that drive spanned five plays, and it's capped off by the Baltimore score. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. Taken at the goal line. 